Okay, right. I'm going to try something, uh, some skin details here. I'll set up a couple of brushes um, using dot stroke here. And for, for this one here, what I need to do is before I start adding some of these nice little doohickeys on there, I need to add some sort of a uh, lump underneath it. So what I've got is my brush here. I'll just quickly put a few of these on like that. You don't have to be too careful because you're going to actually wash this detail out later. Now I've seen lots of ways of doing this um, by hand, which will take you an absolute age. Uh, yes, it will give you more control though, but um, my idea of fun is not sitting putting 60 billion dots onto a head model. And as this is a technique I sometimes use um, when I'm doing work for clients on body models, uh, you can imagine that you've got to, you've got to have a bit of a fast turnover. Uh, last thing you want is to have to tell a client, sorry, it's going to take you an extra three weeks because I'm not going to put all these dots on my hand. Now, yeah, you might tell the client that you're doing that, but you're not going to do it, are you? Right, so I've got all those on there. Now I've set up a smooth brush here. Um, it's done the smooth brush, but I've had a bit of a play around with the um, with the curves and stuff. So it behaves like the old one. And all I do is just start to wash this over gently like that. Now you notice I'm using HD mode because uh, this is a, um, a concept sculpt and nothing more. Um, I'm going to do a few passes at this because I've done some more passes over the rest of the head. Not finished this particular one yet. Um, Preacher idea that popped in my head on it one night. Right, now I've got those ones there. We've got some nice lumps. Now, skin doesn't just go outwards, it goes inwards. Now, I'm also going to be using, see, what I should have used actually was this one for the outwards lumps because it's a bit softer. Uh, the inward ones, I'll keep on using that. Turn it down, I think that should be about 13 or 14. And then I'll just quickly do exactly the same thing. Vary some size, try and at least make an attempt at it uh, going with the flow. You can make some big ones because I say we're going to wash a lot of this out. Uh, you want the subtle skin texture. You're not wanting something that's going to um, stand on its own. If somebody says to you on uh, on a forum that's a really cool skin texture, then really it could be argued that uh, you've shot yourself in the foot. It's supposed to be secondary to the main skull but it's not supposed to overrule it. at least that's my way of thinking anyway right now I've got that again we just take this with us I'll turn that down a little bit to about 30 you want to see I'd rather under smooth if you know what I mean uh, and overdo it and do it back later on um, than the other way around then have it over smooth have to redo the whole area again now you may be thinking, why are you using such a hard edged alpha as these default dot ones? Now, a lot of you will know that uh, when I'm doing speed sculpting, which is stuff like this, is basic relaxation for me, away from the client stuff. Um, I always seem a bit of a hurry. Now, the reason for that is quite simple, to be honest. I have better things to do with my time than spend drawing dots. Now, I know that may sound a bit harsh. Now, that alpha they all have done, alright, is under the alpha palette, is I've inverted it. Right, uh, that's all I've done. It won't short on this at the moment because I've already got it pressed. But anyway, I've set that sub now. I want that set about 10. Now, all I'm doing now because we've washed some of those out is I can put some of these very fine wrinkles under here. Now, so see, I've still got the rest of this head to do. There's about 400 passes of skin detail to do. Well, that's exaggerating, but there's a fair whack of uh, detail to do. Um, because I've got something in mind for this one, full body, the head's got to sell it. A lot of my stuff that's, you know, that I do, the head is important. Um, arguably more important than the body sometimes. Uh, and maybe I should give it a bit more, you know, a bit more attention to the body sometimes. But again, I do that every day for the client. So when I'm relaxing, these are just, you know, doodle something. The main head itself hasn't taken very long to do. Um, I think it's about an hour and a half's work, and that most of that was spent drinking cups of coffee and talking to friends on MSN. You can see there, you can get a, you can get a really nice 
um, skin effect quite easily. Now what you can do as well is if you have that there, just quickly bobble over it with a relatively small side part. Let's just take that down and just add a bit of randomization to uh, some of this. We'll stick the perspective camera off by pressing P and you can see that I'm just wiggling around. I'm not spending hours because skin on any animal is irregular. It's not a regular thing. See some of the pores I've got up here. Uh, we could go back to this one and just put some light skin detail along here because under the eyes is the important area. And you see sometimes I'm going round in a circle like that. Um, that's just part of the way I'm doing it at the moment. You see I haven't done along the top there. Down here hasn't been done. In fact, we could whack this up a little bit down here. I will be going back in and carving over um, a lot of this detail later. Now I've got that looking not too bad. Let's just press F to focus it. And we'll see what it looks like. Press E. See that area's got uh, 5 million. I, if this, I do need to update this machine by the way, so that's the reason why I'm not using a lot of the time the uh, full polygon card. Now you can see, if I go in there non-HD, I could sort of get away with that with if I made it a normal up and sharpened it in Photoshop. Let's put some eyes into his head and stuff. Get this looking reasonably okay. Uh, to render settings. I want to try and take that down to maybe 80 odd. Take the depth of one number 28. And then just press 8 and see what it looks like. And it's coming up quite nice. That's the skin has been tracked exactly the same way. Three layers so far. Still got the nose to do. And there you go. It's not bad. It certainly does the trick in my book. Um, just a little short one I thought to show you how to do some skin detailing. Oh, that's been enjoyable.